Meet Jenny Lee. My name is Jenny, and I lobbied for the dumpling, takeout box, fortune cookie, and chopsticks emojis. And this is the story of how Jenny is getting us four new emoji. Like, it just felt to me like there should be a dumpling emoji, and like, while we're at it, we should add the takeout box, fortune cookie, and chopsticks. As of 2017, they are coming to a keyboard near you. Jenny was on an emoji crusade. You see, in order to pitch an emoji, you have to infiltrate this worldwide consortium named Unicode. You get very quickly to the Unicode Consortium, which is a nonprofit organization which basically oversees emoji. They're the people who control the alphabet of your emoji keyboard. It has 11 full voting members. They pay $18,000 a year to like have a full vote. Unicode sets the standard and parameters around emoji. You see, there are a set of rules all emoji must abide by. There are no brands, no deities, and no celebrities. And when we hear about, quote, Kimoji, those are not mm-hmm. real accepted emoji. Those are sort of like rogue emoji that are really stickers. So Jenny started to attend meetings. For a swift 75 bucks, anyone can attend the meeting as a non-voting member. And you basically like feel very welcome. And so it feels a lot like going to a new church. <laughs> Back to the dumpling. What I did was, you know, write a whole proposal about why the dumpling deserved its own emoji, especially since it's so universal. And what's kind of cool is that, like, not only is it a dumpling emoji, it can be a pierogi emoji or an empanada emoji. Got that passed as a candidate emoji in January of this year. Seems like a lot of work for fun symbols. No, it was actually much faster than I thought. Oh, okay. I think it's really interesting to watch the emoji evolve. And that, my friends, is how an emoji is born.